Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another Isotope Ozone 7 video. Today I want to show you the Exciter module in Ozone. This is my current favorite Exciter plugin. I used to use Vitamin from Waves a lot for harmonic enhancing, but I've actually all but stopped using Vitamin now and replaced it with this one. I pretty much only use the Exciter on the master, so that's how we'll use it here. This is a multi-band module that allows you to add sparkle, shimmer, and shine to upper frequencies of a mix, but also allows you to boost and add presence to your mid and low frequencies. It's incredibly useful for tone shaping when mastering. Remember, if you'd like to work along with me, or if you'd just like to have some more multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with, you can purchase and download this multi-track session. I'll leave a link in the video description below. So the exciter is broken up into four bands, high, high mid, low mid, and low frequency bands. On each one, you can adjust the amount of harmonic excitation and also blend that signal with the dry signal by adjusting the mix knob. Without blending, the exciter can sound too harsh on some sources. You can also turn on and off each band and also solo each band. You can also right click to remove bands and insert new bands with a limit of four total. The plus and minus buttons in the lower left do the same thing. You can also adjust your crossover options by right clicking. There's three options, analog, digital, and hybrid. Analog makes the crossover frequencies like filter slopes and analog equipment. So this includes phase shift and tone coloration like we talked about before with minimum phase EQs. Digital is linear phase, so it doesn't have any of the phase shift like the analog does, but it does add latency. You can also adjust the Q or bandwidth of each crossover when digital is selected. And hybrid is kind of in between. It has less latency and phase distortion, but still some analog warmth like the analog mode. Again, we're talking about the type of crossover frequencies here, not the actual tonal quality of the bands themselves. We'll get to those in a moment. So the effect between these three is minimal. We'll just go with hybrid for this. A really cool feature of the exciter is the automatic crossover. You can click the learn button here and then play the audio and Ozone will search for a natural place to set your crossover cutoffs. So let's do that. It'll automatically disable when it's done. All right, so now with our crossovers learned, let's go over the six exciter modes. Warm generates only even harmonics. Retro is a transistor-based exciter with odd harmonics. Tape is going to be very bright and has odd harmonics. Tube is also pretty bright, and the excitation is emphasized on transient material. Triode models a tube circuit for analog warmth. This is only one half of the tube circuit. And dual triode uses a full tube circuit and is even warmer than the triode mode. So I'll solo each band, dial in a setting I like with the triode mode, and then I'll cycle through all six modes so you can hear the difference. I tend to prefer the triode and dual triode modes because they're warmer and you can dial in a higher setting without it getting too crispy. Like with the EQ modules we used in the previous videos, 
The exciter also has a mid side mode, so you can excite the mid channel separately from the side channels. So I'll pull out some of the high end in the mid and add that back in on the sides. You can also choose a completely different mode. So I'll choose the bright tube tone for the sides and keep the triode for the mid. The oversampling option utilizes more processing power to increase the quality level of the module by increasing the sample rate of the applied distortion to reduce aliasing or foldover as it's also known. However, I'm going to leave this off for now because my screen capture has a hard time running with ozone on as is, and I don't want to get more lag than I'm already getting, so I'll save that for the final bounce. Lastly, there's a post filter that's a single high shelf filter. This applies the high shelf to the entire signal of the exciter. This is if you need to reduce the high frequencies overall if you feel the exciter is making things too bright. Let's give this one more listen, and I'll AB the exciter and the entire ozone plugin thus far. So that's the Exciter module in Ozone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.